Okay, so to add a column to an LR track view with LR tracks open, we want it to be on my LR tracks. So be sure you're in a personal view and that should be called my LR tracks. If you don't have that or don't know how to get to that, please let me know. With that open, put your mouse on any of the headers and right click. Go down to Column Chooser. You'll see a window open down here. You can bring it up. You're looking for Mod Date. That's what we want to put into your personal view because that's when the LT was most recently modified. So I just left click on it, drag it up to where I want to drop it off. I'm going to put it right there. You see the two arrows? So it's going to go right in there. At that time, you see there's no data in there. So come up here to this area here and click on the click here. Should take just a few seconds, but we should then have that information in here. So there's the modify date. So you know when anyone last did anything into that, uh, changed anything in that LT. If you want to put all the creation information together, or if you want to move your columns around, here's the date it was created. So I'm going to move that over right in here. That way I have created by the creation date and the modified date all right together. At that time, that's all the changes I want to make. I find my save the current grid settings button. I'll click on that. You're going to see something a little different, I think, than me because I'm an administrator. But would you like to overwrite this view or create a new view? I'd overwrite it. That way it's going to remain my LR tracks. But now whenever you're looking at that view, you're going to see uh, now a new column in there called mod date for modified date. Last time the LT was modified. Thanks.